So, you just bought a brand new PS5 DualSense controller for your PC and you're wondering how to set it up. Well, this video is for you, so stay tuned. Yo, what's going on guys? Acer Tonic here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your PS5 DualSense controller on PC. Um, you guys can use it wired or wireless with this method and it's completely free. So again, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe if you do. And also, I want to let you guys know I didn't want to have to do it to you, but... I have to literally only 8% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed so guys please go ahead and subscribe we really appreciate it it's free and you guys can change your mind later so again hope you guys enjoy the video I hope it helps you out and make sure you enjoy so the first thing I'll be showing you guys is actually how to connect your controller with Bluetooth if you guys don't already know how to do this it's honestly very simple and literally all you have to do is go ahead and grab your DualSense controller go down to here you can click on this you can right click on here and you can go to settings or you can literally go down here and type in bluetooth settings and it will go ahead and take you to the bluetooth settings now my controller is already connected so i'm going to go ahead and oh, i don't have bluetooth turned on there we go i'm going to go ahead and just remove this controller so it's removing the device so now you do this just like you do the old playstation 4 controller you go ahead press and hold the playstation button and well there used to be a share button i think it still is a share button but it looks a little bit different now so go ahead and hold that go ahead and hold those two together until your controller is blinking then you can go ahead and let go and set your controller down now once you've done that you want to go ahead and hit add device you want to go here and within a few moments it should go ahead and just pop up once again just like the ps4 controller would do the exact same thing now it may take a second i would give it a good 20 seconds before you go ahead and maybe shut off your controller and try it again but there you go mine went ahead and popped up i'm going to go ahead and connect it and once it's connected your controller should light up blue and you should get that sound right there now you're done with that part now we'll go ahead and go if you guys are wired you literally just plug it in and then there you go now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download the software to enable this controller to work so guys, this next part is actually super easy, literally just showing you guys how to download the software and then I'll show you guys how to set it up properly for the PS5 controller when using it on PC. Literally, you want to go ahead and go on Google or Bing or Internet, whatever you use, preferably Chrome, not going to lie. But uh, yeah, just go ahead and go on your Google or your browser and type in DS4 Windows. Once you type in DS4 Windows, there should be three or four different ones that pop up. But trust, I'll leave a link in the description, plus the one you guys want to use, I'll show you here. It's DS4 Windows dash GitHub Pages. This is the most updated version of DS4 Windows you can use. There's also one by TechSpot and J2Kings. A lot of times those have issues, so just don't even download from them. I would download the one that's from GitHub Pages. Again, I'll leave you guys the link. Go ahead and hit the download now button. It should take you to this page. Now this is where a lot of people get confused. They don't know which one to download. You have Windows 64, so you want to go ahead and download not the first one. You want to go ahead and download the second one. D is for Windows 2.1.17 x64.zip. Should be 4.2 megabytes. You don't want to download this one. Just go ahead and download this one right here. Um, you can download it. I'll just literally download it to my desktop just to make this a little bit easier. We'll show in folder. Now that it's downloaded, I'll go ahead and drag that over here onto my desktop. So here's the program right here. Alrighty, so now that we got the program open, as you guys can see, I also have the program over here as well. That's me already having it download, so I know it works. First thing you guys want to do is go ahead and right click on it. Go ahead and hit extract all. You guys can extract it right here. That's perfectly fine. You should go ahead and do some copying of files, extracting it and everything like that. And then it should open you up another window, which I'll also bring over here. And that's this window with the DS4 Windows file inside of it. Now this file right here is exactly the same as the file I have over here. So I'll just go ahead and drag it and move it right on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Just replace my, or I just moved my file, but it's the exact same thing right here. Go ahead and double click on it. Now this is where people start to get confused. It's really simple. Trust me, you don't need anything that's really in here. Just don't delete them. You're perfectly fine. Just leave everything in this folder. And when you want to use your controller, literally just open up the folder and go ahead and click on dsrwindows.exe. Now once you do that, it's going to go ahead and open up right here. Now this is me, I already have it all set up. I'm just gonna hit save and go back to the main screen. You can make a bunch of different profiles. I'll also leave a link in the description and a card right now. 
on the screen showing you guys another tutorial I did literally setting this up. It's pretty much the exact same way, but there's a few extra things you need to change for the PS5 controller because as you can see, they actually did just add support to it. If I go ahead and go back to this website, the last thing they did was add um, implemented DualSense support, light bar, rumble, you know, all of that stuff, and it works with USB. So that's the last thing they added. That is the newest update. It was literally released four days ago. By the time you guys are watching this, it may be like five or six, something like that. But yeah, it's pretty new. Anyway, now you guys can see that my DualSense controller is connected. It shows that it's with Bluetooth. If you guys have it plugged in, it'll show that it's wired. Um, the battery's 50%, that's all good. You guys, will, if you're new to this, you'll have to make a profile. If you're not, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a profile here now. It's gonna ask you for a preset, just hit no. I'm gonna go through all the settings with you guys. It's super simple. It's still gonna show up as the PS4 controller. That's perfectly fine. They're pretty much exactly the same. Now what we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the controls. Nothing you really should have to change inside of here. Everything should be perfectly fine. Special actions, this is where you can set up macros. Please don't. A lot of people, I don't, I don't know why they wanna set up macros, just don't do it. Uh, controller readings, as you guys can see right now I have one MS. This shouldn't be exactly the same for you because you guys have to change some settings in order to get really low input delay with this. I'll also leave a link in the, de in the description for you guys to get a really good Bluetooth adapter that helps me get the lowest input delay possible while using Bluetooth, so it's really nice. Next thing you want to do, there isn't really anything in here you can change. You guys can mess with your dead zones in here as well. Other than that, it's pretty much pretty simple. Light bar, you guys can mess with your light bar in there. Touchpad, now this is the important thing. You want to hit touchpad and use as controls. And then you want to assign all of these to what button you want your touchpad to be. Whether that's just a button on your keyboard or something like that. And your touchpad will work just like normal. Now if you want to go ahead and go into other right here. This is the setting you want to change called Bluetooth pull rate. You want to make sure you put this at max 1ms. And this gives you the absolute lowest input delay you can get. Anyway, yeah, this is a really important setting. You guys want to go ahead and make sure you change this to 1ms. And then just hit apply. Once you guys pick a name, you're good. And that's actually the last setting you guys need to change in here. If you guys have more questions, you guys can hit me up in my Discord or my Twitter. Those will both be linked down in the description as well. This is going to be the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This works exactly the same if you're using it wired. And yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your PS5 controller on PC for free. And it's not bannable on any games. I just want to make that very clear. As of making this video, this software is not bannable under any game's anti-cheat as of right now. I just want to make that very clear just so anybody doesn't think that you can get banned over this. Perfectly safe, just emulating your PS5 controller as a 360 controller so that way it works in all games. And yeah, it's really nice. I love this software. I've been using it for a while now. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Again, hope you guys did enjoy. Hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure you drop a sub and a like. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or Fortnite video. Peace out.